Hey guys, I am so excited for this video. Taking you guys along with me for a very, very um, big challenge today. Well, not not today, but I'm gonna be making my own sweater. I haven't decided on the design yet. Maybe it's gonna be a little Harry Styles action, a little funky, puffy sweater action. I actually turned into a grandma recently. Reading, going on walks, and baking. I also picked up crocheting recently. So I've been obsessed with it. I made. Oh, I'll show you. I made this bag. I don't know. Apparently, I think I'm invincible now, so I'm gonna try making a sweater, which I know is a lot harder. I still consider myself a beginner because I've only made this bag. I also made a pickle, but that was also like 10 years ago. That's, that's another story. I don't have any of the supplies right now except for a hook. So let's go pick out the colors and the design. All right, guys. So we are on uh. not the most exciting step of this, but I figured I should plan a little bit. So I pulled out one of my favorite sweaters and I'm going to measure it a little bit. As we know, I don't do things with patterns. So we're kind of just eyeballing it, you know? Do, do. <laughs> Huh. I have no clue where the sweater is from. I think I thrifted it. I don't know, but I really like it. Unfortunately, I love oversized things, which means I'm probably gonna have to like double my time crocheting. And I'll be aware of that when I have a cool sweater. I think I'm gonna do a kind of patchwork looking thing, and I'm basically just gonna be making a bunch of rectangles and then sewing them together. Shit. Hmm. Oh. Okay guys, so like 10 minutes later, I drew myself a rough sketch for all the materials that I need, all the squares that I need to crochet. If you look at this, it probably makes absolutely no sense to you, but it, it makes sense in my brain. So we're kind of just like gonna work into fruition, see if it works. I'll make it work. We're gonna head on over to my local Joann's and get some supplies. I've been here like three times this past week. When you're gonna pick up, call too many times. Text back saying, sorry I'm drunk. Why do I even try? Are you in circles for- I'm back! Thank you, I didn't actually go to Trader Joe's. This is a reusable bat. So I got a couple things, unfortunately. I also got the goods. I'm gonna explain the design I'm kind of going for. I also have a little bit leftover yarn from that bag I made, but I got five here. I'll show you guys the design I'm going for. I saw these ones on Pinterest. They're kind of like Harry Styles inspired too, except his is more of a cardigan, I believe. But they're kind of like checkered sweaters. So that's just some inspo. I also really like, I really like how this one, some of the panels are checkered or have like, not texture, but they use like that rainbow yarn. So it kind of looks even more colorful. I don't know. I just want it to be as funky and fun as possible. I want to put some flowers in it like this. Okay, I did the math. I need like almost 30 squares and I'm making them all five by five. So basically, Basically, this is gonna be a montage of me just crocheting for days, but you know, I like a challenge. So, we better get started. Hey, I apologize, this lighting is kind of atrocious, but I am gonna be putting aside my little checkered thing. This is the only thing I actually know how to make right now. I am whipping out my new yarn. So, I'm going to start off by trying to make, I'm gonna make a little square and just measure it and hopefully it turns out right and then we'll just keep on going and making the more complicated designs like the flowers and whatnot. So, I'm gonna watch New Girl while I do this. Honestly, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Let's start with pink. Why not? I was contemplating if I should have like a crocheting show, you feel? Because I can probably finish like an, oh my what? I can probably finish an entire show while doing this. I started uh how do you find that? Oh, I found it. I started a new show called like Shadow and Bone. I almost called it Skin and Bone. That was kind of embarrassing. Um, so actually maybe I'll watch that after I finish this episode of New Girl because New Girl has been my jam recently. And still end up alone. But I'll keep trying and trying till it splits me in two. Oh my gosh, my first little square. I had to remake this like three times because I actually didn't know how to make a little square and I kept messing up. It took me two episodes of New Girl. It's kind of embarrassing because I'm supposed to make like 27 of these. So we're just gonna have to hope for the best. Um, we'll just keep going. So it is currently um, 4.30 a.m. I'm calling it quits for today. I so, so, oh my gosh, see, I can't even function. I crocheted 10 of these, so I have approximately, like, I guess I'm, like, a third of the way done, which is not bad for the first day, considering I didn't crochet all day. 
Oh my gosh, I look dead. I need to stop. I'll see you guys tomorrow. These are all solid ones too though. So I still need to do like the fun checkered and like figure out how to do the flower thing. So that'll be fun. I'm kind of skeptical about this like color scheme we got going on. But um, it's too late now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey folks, so I just got home from work. Worked a long shift and I, all I wanted to do this whole day is crochet. <laughs> so funny, that rhymed, yeah. Okay, well, so I'm looking up a tutorial on how to make those little flower things. I don't even know what to, flower, you know what I'm saying? Flower crochet tutorial. These are just not the flowers that I meant. Oh, these flowers are so cute. I have to save that for later. Oh, they're called granny square. Um, okay, so sorry, my brain's everywhere. I'm barely functioning right now. Ooh, these are so cute. Oh, these are adorable. Oh my gosh. I'm learning how to crochet a Starburst granny square. Hopefully this goes well. I did it the wrong color. Oh well. You used to make me breakfast, now you just make me mad. So I hold on to the reason, pretend it's not that bad. It's um, oh my gosh, it's almost 3 a.m. Obviously, it's a different day. I almost said so. I crocheted a bunch of squares tonight, made some good progress. These ones definitely, it's, oopsie. These ones clearly, gosh, I am a mess right now. These ones clearly took longer because I did patterns. I think I did three, can't count right now. Three, oh, look, wow. I did four of these checkered ones and I did three of these little like starburst granny squares, whatever they're called. Oh, those are really fun. I can't wait to see how those look on the sweater. During my span of doing this, I watched three and a half episodes of Gilmore Girls. Those are long episodes too. And then I watched like four, I don't even call four video, four what episodes, Jubilee videos. I don't know what happened, but I've been really into those the, like spectrum ones and the, what is it called? Something decision, like the ones where they, they're sitting on the chairs and like talking to each other. Something about like open discussion. I'm just here for it. It's very stimulating, but I should probably go to sleep so I can crochet more tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just here to tell you guys it's the next day. I've been continuing my obsession with Jubilee. It's moved on to Cut and also other one called like Vice or something like that. I don't know why. I just love listening to people having stimulating conversations. Now I'm watching some Netflix movie about like these people in London because I wish I was in London right now. But that's okay. Look at my stack. I'm kind of contemplating my colors, but it's also like kind of too late for that. So we'll see once I start actually stitching stuff together. Other, which if we're on track should be within the next couple of days guys let me tell you my face but i realize i have to make 47 squares not 27 like i literally thought i would be done i thought i literally had like three more squares to go and then i realized i need to double it i was crocheting till like 4 a.m because i thought i was almost done i'm not almost done i need like another week of this Guys, I put all of my yarn in this bag and so now I've like trained myself to associate Trader Joe's with crocheting somehow. Hello! Ignore the little um can't even see it. I have like acne nose patches on. Wow, the lighting. It is currently almost 11 and I'm starting my crocheting for the night. I think I come to the realization that I should really, you know what, I'm gonna crochet while I do this because we're all multitasking here. This is so ugly. I stopped in the middle last night because I was that tired. I come to the realization that I really need to stop starting. That sounds so bad. I shouldn't start crocheting at night because it's so addicting. I end up staying up way too late. Last night, I stayed up till four again. Then I was so tired at work. It wasn't lovely, okay? I'm almost through the first season of like the spectrum or whatever. It's so much. It's so interesting. I really thought I was gonna get hooked on a Netflix show or something while I do this, but I tried to watch Shadow and Bone. Sha Shadow. I really hope that's what it's called. I tried to watch that show and I just really couldn't get into it. I couldn't even tell you what the main character's name is. Mm. Um, I think that I told you guys last night or whenever last last time I filmed was because it's taking freaking forever. You know what? Good things take time. I think I said last time that um, I really thought I was almost done with the crocheting part, but then I realized it wasn't even miscalculation. I just got the number wrong in my head for some reason. I don't know why. I thought 20 seven squares would make a sweater stupid guys i think i'm getting slower at this or something i watched like three episodes of jubilee and i've moved on to a new thing so now i'm watch oh these lights they're awful i don't know why like it's fine this way but once i go this way i can't tell you but i'm on this new thing it's watching how people dress in London because I'm obsessed with London and I love fashion and seeing how other people dress like it's so fun so I think I'm just gonna watch different London videos for the next couple squares I now measure my time in crochet squares it's another day and time for some more crochet -ing. I need to stop doing that I think I've rhymed crochet with stuff like four times but that's kind of a lot. Let's count them, guys. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. This is the way. Twenty. Dose, tree, no, trace. Oh, frick. I still have to make like 20 more. Guys, exciting news, but also heartbreaking news. I went to Goodwill today, and look what they had the audacity to sell me. I don't know if that was the right way to put it. Also, this angle is just horrendous, but whatever. Look at this. Patchwork sweater? What? You're kidding. You're telling me I've been working on crocheting little squares the past week, and then I find this? Hello friends, I haven't whipped out a camera for so long. I also have absolutely no grasp of time, so I have no clue how long it's been since I've started this. I've just been kind of crocheting as I go when I watch my um, Jubilee, when I'm watching New Girl. So I, I just crochet a bit here and there, and we're going to count how many squares I have because I'm going to make it a goal. Actually, I'm going to force myself to get all of those. Look at them. can't really tell, but I'm going to force myself. Look, it looks like Neapolitan ice cream. Frick, Neapolitan ice cream sounds so good right now. Oh my gosh. Force myself to finish crocheting all the squares, hopefully tonight. And then we're gonna get to like stitching all of the, the patches together, which I am very excited for. I don't really know how that's gonna go because as I said, I don't really have a game plan for this entire sweater. Like sure, I drew out my little map, but I don't know how to make clothes. Um, I also realized this might be a problem, but a lot of these squares are not the same size. I don't know what's up with me. I think I, I was getting a little delusional crocheting at absurd times. For example, Look how tiny this one is. Oh my gosh, compared to like, that's kind of bad. They were all supposed to be the same size. We're gonna make it work somehow. So right now I have 46 and I oh wow I have I have 46. 
have one in my car. I only need to make actually like three more or something. And I'm also making them, you know how a collar, like it's not gonna be an actual box box, like a collar. I'm gonna make them like half squares basically. Hi guys. Look at my Sailor sweatshirt. Sorry, that was kind of unnecessary, but I'm really proud of it. So I need to show you guys on like every social media platform I have. But today is the day that you've been waiting for, that I've been waiting for. We're finally gonna get into assembling the sweater. I'm so excited. I have all of my 50 freaking squares in here. I watched a video on how to like stitch them together or something. Oh, oh, lighting. How to like stitch them together and stuff. So I'm just gonna start laying them out and we're just gonna go for it. I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> Such a funny angle. <laughs> Ignore my laundry over here. Oh my gosh, it's 11 11. Make a wish. Okay, according to my map, I want it to be five by three for the body. Um, look at the difference in square size. Am I stupid? We're gonna have to figure that out. Okay, friends, still the best angle ever, but here's an update. I'm actually stupid and I counted wrong. I'm getting a little lazy, so this sweater is actually gonna be like hella cropped, and we're just gonna be fine with it because I am drained. So I think I need one, two, three, four, about four more squares, but I'm just gonna sew together like what I have right now and get the general shape, and then if I need to make more squares, so be it. I'll make more squares later. Okay guys, a small update. I know it looks the same, but I've stitched some of this together. Let me hold it up for you. Okay, so I've stitched like <laughs> some of it together. I have no clue. It looks so weird. And like some of the squares aren't the same size, but you know what? I kind of like it. It's kind of more unique, I guess. But I have no clue how I thought I was gonna be able to like stitch everything together in literally like 30 minutes or an hour. I've been doing this for an hour already and I'm only this far in and it actually takes so long and I still need to make more squares. But I want to finish this so bad. Okay, guys. Update. So I have one entire panel finished. This is going to be the back of the sweater. I think it looks pretty cool so far. I need to go to work. I hate leaving projects in the middle of when I'm working on them. But I, I really don't have a choice here. So I'm going to go to work. I'm going to crochet some more tonight. But I also need to study for my final. But what takes priority here? Intern back here and with and Jubilee. Don't ask me why I'm wearing sunglasses inside. I'm on my second sleeve and also, don't ask me why I'm literally watching Crash Course right now. I have sewn together, stitched together, whatever, my, like, basically all these different panels. So I have a body and then sleeves front and back. For example, I have this. So this is two. This is the front. This is the back. This took, like, two days to do. And then this is one sleeve. I know it looks really short, but if you hold it up next to, like, the body, which I'm doing a terrible job at showing you here, the body is super long. So hopefully it looks fine because I really don't want to crochet more squares. Plus, I'm going to be crocheting on the, the lining, like, cuffing whatever it's called ribbed collar thing for like the sleeves the bottom and then the neck which is the next step and then I also have this sleeve here which is also two sides it kind of looks like Neapolitan ice cream I think it's funny I don't know if I like that but mm, I can't really do anything about that now so the next step is to stitch all these together so it actually makes the sweater shape um yeah I really need to study crocheting is so addicting like I really struggle to stop myself but I literally have so many things I need to do here is what it looks like kind of like an overview of it laid out it'll give you a better visual this is like the body those are the two sleeves and then i'm just gonna stitch like along there there and then around you know like attach all of them basically i'll see you guys after that it's probably gonna be dark out by then but i'll see you 
Hello friends, as you can maybe tell, I'm not sure. It is the next day. I finished crocheting my sweater late last night and well, not not the whole thing, but it's it looks like a sweater at least now. So I'm gonna do a quick little try on. Let's get the, I need a better angle. The lighting, not spectacular right there. Duh, let me show you it first. <laughs> It's wearable. It's not gonna be cute. I have to prepare myself. It's not gonna be cute I have to do like the ribbing stuff and I also need to tuck in. I forgot what it's called when you tuck in all like the little tail things What? That's really cropped. Well, <laughs> okay, lol. So yeah, it's very very boxy. Maybe I should have tried it on while I was making it. I'm kind of concerned about <laughs> Like I'm gonna cinch them in for sure. So it's gonna have like a, a very kind of like that, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a sweater. That's for sure. These are huge. I, I could have taken a whole square out of the sleeve. That would have saved some time. Okay, little update. I think I figured out how to make the little sleeve. Ooh. So I've done one of them and I'm really scared. I'm gonna run out of yarn because I only have this much left. So if I can't make the other sleeve, I'm just gonna like sit here and cry. Okay guys, exciting news. We are not really halfway there, but we're getting somewhere. I have cuffs now. I don't know what they're called. Haha, <laughs> cuffs, not cuffs, but ow. When you're gonna pick up, call too many times. Text back saying, sorry I'm drunk. Why do I even try? Argue in circles for hours, cause what else can we do? I really should have filmed this, but I like did the collar completely wrong, so I had to undo everything. But I'm just getting so tired. I want it to be done. I'm gonna take a little a little break. The most exciting news! Guys, I finished it. It only took three episodes of Gilmore Girls tonight. Do a little reveal. I haven't tried it on. I oh my gosh. Can't. I'll try it on for you guys tomorrow Um, when there's like better lighting and stuff. Plus, I just don't want to change into it right now. I need to, like, tuck the ends in. But this is what it looks like now. I put the, the collar part on. And it looks a little bit funky because I literally used up the entire, like, spool of yarn. And I, I really, really, really did not want to go to Joann's again because my local Joann. I've been there probably three times because I keep under-purchasing yarn. So I, had, I don't even know how many spools this took. But without stepping too far back and the lighting getting funky this is what it looks like i love the sunflowers if anything it look how cinched it is at the waist i hope that doesn't look weird on i really hope the thing is it's like super stretchy so it should be fine but we'll see tomorrow it definitely could have been like an oversized longer sweater but <laughs> your girl is getting a little tired of crocheting and she wants to finish her bag also so yeah but other than that thank you guys for coming along with me and crocheting this sweater with me i couldn't have done it without you so thank you for keeping me company if you think i should crochet more stuff let me know maybe i'm probably not doing another sweater i want to make a, like, a crop top or a bralette or something though and that would be a lot easier so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you think it looks cute i think it looks cute but i'm gonna go sleep so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye guys I know you